You gotta add a little everything to the sidewalks and driveways, oh. right? I mean, it's that time of the year. Wow, it's been a messy uh, 24 to 36 hours and more to come. And the cold temperatures this morning did not help. We were in the single digits. So we, as we mentioned, the slush that we had late in the day froze up. Now I have a lot of layers of stuff on my driveway and that infuriates me. I like a nice clean driveway. The sun did help a little bit today, um, but then the clouds rolled in this afternoon. Your high is 22. It's also your current temperature. 13 was the low a year ago. We were almost 50 degrees. Uh, the temperatures continue to be in the teens. A couple of spots in the single digits now. Burlington, Lake Geneva, uh, Green Lake at five degrees. And those are their wind chills, excuse me. The winds are relatively light, but it is dropping those wind chills into the single digits. We are seeing uh, some flurries and very light snow. You can see there's a little darker blue areas now south of Oak Creek as you go into Sturdivant, uh, parts of Racine County seeing that. Otherwise, flurries from Milwaukee all the way down to Kenosha. The bigger picture showing a little bit more uh, of those uh, bands of lake effect snow. This is nothing heavy. You think lake effect, you think heavy, heavy snow. This is going to be flurries to a dusting of accumulation. This is not the big deal. This is round one. Round two is down to our southwest. It brought a wave of freezing rain and snow to our deep south neighbors once again. They have seemed to have had a worse winter than we have with precipitation, but that low is now going to track into Missouri and Illinois. This one tracking favorable for snow lovers that you will have to do some shoveling and maybe even snow blowing before it's all said and done early Friday morning. With the cloud cover, we don't cool down much more overnight tonight. We'll stay in the teens to lower 20s, and with that cloud cover, and the east to northeast wind at 10 to 20 will stay in the 20s with wind chills in the teens throughout the day. So we'll have these flurries along the lakefront by morning, uh, mostly cloudy. And then this is what happens later in the day. Hopefully we can get through the evening commute before the snow arrives, but there will be some flurries. The more moderate snow showers, nothing overly heavy at times, will be after 10 o'clock into early Friday morning. And this is how it sets up. We're looking for one to three inches of snow, very common across southeastern Wisconsin. For once, it looks like we're all going to get some snow. And then you're looking at about three to four, maybe even a little bit more than four right along the lakefront with that easterly wind component. So we'll be watching that throughout the day tomorrow. 26 on Thursday with the snow moving in late. The snow moves out here early Friday morning, then 27 and sunny. We'll start to melt some of that snow, sleet and ice from the last couple of days on Saturday and Sunday with highs in the 30s. And look at that. March comes in with 40s. Our weather kid tonight. That is Truman. Truman. Aw, Truman. And uh, all bundled up with those flurries and wind chills in the single digits. Is that March coming in like a lamb? That, that is. That means it goes out like a lion. See, I don't want that. Oh, All right. No.